Good afternoon, my name is Matthew Stones from Axel Technologies and today I'm making a short video to show how to resolve issues with RDP redirected printing. So first of all just a few screenshots to show what you get when it's all working fine. On my Windows 2008 terminal server uh, I'm connected to it via an Axel M80 Thin Client terminal and when I look on the control panel I see Epson redirected printed here which is my redirected printer. The printer is in fact there um, and if I go into the printer, printer properties and printer test page I think you can hear it So that's all very well if it's working. If it's not working, then where do you start looking? Well, the first thing to check is the printer driver. To do that, you have to have installed the printer driver on the terminal server. So even if you don't see the actual redirected printer, you should still see the local copy of the printer driver. So if you click on that and go into printer properties, advanced, I'm not sure if it's the same boxes on all printers, but it'll be there somewhere you'll see a reference to driver and the actual name of the, uh, the print driver. And it's very important you make a note of the print driver exactly as it is spelt there. Any dots, dashes, spaces are all critical. Okay, to check these settings within the terminals configuration, there aren't very many. If we go into ports, and depending on the terminal type, you may have got USB serial or parallel printers connected so select the appropriate uh, port here and at the end you'll find a reference to the actual printer if you go down the bottom it will say RDP ICA redirection check that is set as printer and underneath where you get the printer parameters you can then enter the name of your printer I chose Epson but you can choose anything you like and underneath is where you enter the printer driver which must be spelled exactly as you saw in the tab on the printer reference on the terminal server. The other thing to check is within sessions, within your RDP session down the bottom, redirected resources, check that the redirected printer is set to either all or specifically the printer you want to redirect. If you're still having problems, then the next test is to go back into ports, and find your printer. So if you overwrite the specific printer driver with generic slash text only, as written here, again taking care with the capitalization spaces and slashes, then that will use a driver which is guaranteed to be installed on every Windows terminal server. So if there was an issue with the specific Epson driver, for example, this would avoid using that driver. You will see our Epson printer has been recreated, and if we go into properties, advanced. We'll see it's now using the generic text-only driver as opposed to the Epson driver. So that's a way to check if the driver is an issue. Now some printers will work with the generic text-only driver and some printers won't. So that might not resolve the issue if you do have a printer driver issue but if the printer wasn't created using in my case the Epson driver and it is created using the generic text-only driver then that does point the finger at something being wrong with the specific driver that was specified before. Some other things to try and to check. Ports, USB logical ports, down the bottom here there's a test button. Now if the printer supports generic text then when you pr press that button it will print. Now my printer, my Epson printer, doesn't support generic text. Um, some do, some don't. Basically the terminal will just throw some ASCII text at the printer um, and it will either work or won't work depending on the printer. If the test here does work then your printer will work with the generic text only printer driver as shown earlier. So that can help in some situations. Another thing to check is in the remote desktop session host configuration in admin tools if you click on the RDP reference, 
and go to properties and go to client settings make sure that Windows printer is unticked so in this case a tick disables so unticked enables another thing to check is if you press Control alt shift i a window pops up and you should see here the printer and the port usb port or serial or parallel net port uh, now all that proves is that the terminal is set up and the terminal is offering the port to the server it doesn't prove that the server has accepted the port or that the printer has been created but it does prove that the actual terminal itself is set up correctly. The final thing to check is connect the printer to a PC, open up the RDP connection box, go into options, local resources and click the, or make sure the, the printer box is ticked and then connect to the terminal server and the printer should be seen in the same way. Um, now what that will prove is uh, some drivers, some printer drivers, just don't work very well over RDP. So if the printer doesn't work when attached to a PC and you RDP in, then that points the finger, uh, well, possibly at the driver, or maybe the terminal server either has the printer redirection not enabled or some policy that prevents printer redirection. The very final test for USB printers only is attach the printer to the terminal, enter setup, control alt escape, go to diagnostics USB and check that the printer is in fact reporting itself as a printer. Some multifunction devices report themselves as something different. Um, now if the device doesn't report itself as a generic printer then the RDP redirection won't work with it. So I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have any questions please contact your local Axel office our details will follow after this video. Thank you very much and bye for now.